and I want to start taking some trips with these little guys. So uh, currently I've got a TJ with 35s and that's fine, but uh, King of the Hammers uh, really has got me jonesing for something a little bit bigger. Um, maybe 37, maybe 38s. Um, and I know that that's uh, ridiculous for a 93 inch wheelbase, but um, I might have some plans down the road to adjust that too. But um, I'm not one who wants to go out and have too much tire for the axle. So I think I probably need to step up my game a little bit there. Um, so today's video, I'll be reviewing uh, a hitch rack. And it will help me go pick up some axles. So I just got back from King of the Hammers. You might have saw the video. Um, and it was awesome. But... One thing I didn't like is that there were no Jeeps on 35s. Uh, my Jeep is on 35s, and I don't think it would hold up out there. So I'm looking at maybe, actually I am, uh, upgrading my axles. I've got a 44 in the back and a high pinion 30 up front, and that's good for about 35s. The high pinion 30 does have chromos in it and 488s, but uh, last year at Moab, uh, I could just tell that uh, it didn't have the wheelbase to be hitting all the climbs that I want to hit. So I want to stretch the Jeep out, and uh, once you do that, you're going to need a little bit bigger tires. And once you do that, I don't think my axles are going to hold. So I thought I probably need to get some axles while I'm at it. need to go full width. Um, the Ford axles out of the late 70s F-150 have a 65-inch width which is five inches wider than the stock TJ axles. And I think that will serve me a little bit better. Um, so I picked up, uh, well, I'm gonna be picking up uh, a 77 F-150 high pinion 44 and a matching four nine inch from roughly the same year truck. Uh, also a 65 inches wide, 31 spline. And yeah, I, Currently, right now, my daily driver is a 04 WJ, and I don't know if I uh, feel like putting greasy axles in the back of it just to pick up axles. So, I decided to pick up from Harbor Freight a hitch rack. Um, these things cost anywhere from, well, this one was $48, all the way up to three, four, five hundred dollars if you want aluminum, if you want them to fold. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can get them, but I'm over this cheap one because it was cheap and because it's not something I'm going to be using all the time. So I thought I'd give it a shot, see how it works out. Um, it's rated for 500 pounds, so should have no problem hauling a couple of, uh, old junkyard axles. So, um, picked it up, super simple to put it together. Four bolts hold the, uh, two side trays to the center bar. And then four more bolts hold the cross braces that tie the two ends together. Um, things I like about it, it seems solid. The finish on it looks decent. It's actually painted everywhere, which isn't what you always find at Harbor Freight. Um, uh, came with a hitch pin. That's something nice. Um, negatives on it so far. Um, wouldn't mind a wire mesh. You know, you can't put anything too little in it without it falling through. Um, not that you would put something little in it, but if something were to bounce out, fall out, you wouldn't want it to fall through the cracks. So, um, maybe if I'd be willing to pay a little bit more for one that's got a wire mesh, but it seems like to step up to that, you're doubling or tripling the price. Um, the other thing, um, on the hardware right here on the middle, those four bolts, um, I wish that instead of them being drilled, they were stamped and a square hole where you could use a carriage bolt so it would be a little bit more flush on the inside. Just in case you're having to be carrying a cooler that's that exact size, you want it to fit in there and not get scratched. You'd like it to just be smooth all the way along the inside. Um, but other than that, um, I think it's going to be pretty decent for what I'm looking for out of it. Um, it listed at $59.99. You get the 20% coupon. came out to $48. So... Um, Shoot, if I use it three, four times, I think I've pretty much got my money out of it. And it keeps gear oil out of the back of the WJ. So, uh, 
Hopefully then I can get some half ton axles, get them built up with RCVs and chromos, and uh, make sure I can play with the big boys next year. I want to sit on the sidelines. As usual, if you like the video, like the video, share it, subscribe if you want. Try to put out some more things, but uh, just a basic review on this cargo carrier. Thanks.